Man, I appreciate you guys, you know, on short notice, taking an interview. Um, no problem, man. And, you know, my name is Todd. Um, I go by the runner. Hey, Todd. How are you? Who am Very I? Good. Who Excuse am I speaking with here? Who, who's? Uh, go ahead, and introduce yourselves. So I'm Ben, uh, and and I'm Will. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're in the Hapenies. We're in the Hapenies. Hapenies. Yeah. We're, we're going to talk about Guitar that. And sings. We're going to talk about that name. Cool. Okay. Shortly. All right, where? So I'm the runner, and I'm doing an interview with. You. Pronounce the name again. Hapenies. The Hapenies. Yeah. The Hapenies. You know, because yeah. I'm walking around my house and telling my wife, "Hey, I'm, I'm interviewing the hot pennies." <laughs> so, <laughs> to, be honest, mate, to be fair, lots of people do that as well. We don't even mind. Just say it how you want to say it, really, innit? Tomato, tomato, mate. Tomato, tomato. But so, listen. I mean, you guys, you started your band in 2016. Uh, yeah, a bit before that. A little bit before that was the first day. Uh, first time we released anything it would be 2016. Yeah. Released in 2016. A little bit before that, yeah, we were playing in a band, and yeah, when we first released music was in 2016. Okay, all right. Well, I, I got to tell you, you, your your music sounds like professional, very professional, very well sung, played. The acoustics are all. I'm a big acoustics guy. Uh, I like to hear. Yeah. When I play music. I play it loud so I can hear everything. And your, you know, your type of music is the best. Uh, there's. Oh. Another, Oh it, no! Thank seriously, you. you're you're. I mean, you know, people who use software, you know, to drown out yeah. their, their inability to play instruments at times, and I'm not going to knock those people. But I sounds like, like you are. <laughs> I, I yeah. like to. I well, I, I, listen, I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm one of them. Okay, because I've done a, I've done yeah, a good yeah. bit of music with with software. But anyway, I like to hear the instruments, just like you like to hear the breath when you hear someone singing live, right? Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's there's nothing like it. Um, no. There are a lot of bands that I've interviewed, out, and for some reason, everybody's coming at me out of the UK. And, oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's good music, and like I tell people, your music makes my station better, right? You give me better brand recognition amongst other radio stations, so no, I appreciate it. And I've been playing the hell out of your song, and it's Thank funny. You, oh, absolutely. Uh, I think it's Teresa Mullen and Kate uh, singing yeah. your music. And yeah. I always tell them, you guys have got to send me MP3 files, right? So mm -hmm. she sent Go On and Go as an MP3, and I uploaded it. I love that song, and we're going to talk about oh, that okay. song. But then she's Thank like, you. what about 15? You, she was basically telling me, you're not playing 15. Why? You know, I guess you just like Go On and Go. No, it's because it's in a WAV file. <laughs> I, I can't upload it. <laughs> Too so, just so you know. But let's, let's get into... Uh, Go on and go. I, I I was excited to talk about that first, and we'll talk about some of your other songs that I saw up here. But I just read something that said, you know, you've got a lot of emotion in Go on and go, right? Well, that's before yes. I knew about your friend's passing. I played mm -hmm. that song. I want to say last week at least four to five times a day because again, I like to hear the instruments, and mm -hmm. I said to myself between the guitar solo and the strong emotion in the vocal, I knew there was something there. And the reason I know that is because everyone that I've interviewed, there have been two people that have had a passing in their band. And mm. after that passing, when they put out a song, there is some, there, I mean, it's chilling how good the vocals and the music is. And that that go on and go, that is phenomenal. That Thank is you very much. Very, very, I, I like listen. I like your other music, but that one you literally sit and you go, that's damn. I mean, that's really good. It's it's, it's, coming, it's not that, not that your other music didn't come from the heart, but you could definitely. T I'm sure other people have told you that about that song. They had to. Have. Yeah, I mean, it plays at the heartstrings a lot. That song it's, it's a deep, it's emotional. It's got. A, a lot of meaning to it for us, mm. so yeah, it's uh, yeah we do get that reaction a lot of the time. Yeah, are you yeah. drinking there? Is that, a, is that a beer? Oh yeah, this is a uh, oh, red, stripe. red stripe. Red stripe, red nice. stripe, delicious. Yeah, yeah, nice. I mean, the older you get, the less you can drink. You know all the other brews, so you have to yeah. be careful yeah, what true. you drink. So red stripe, <laughs> is nice and nice and smooth, and it doesn't foul up the house. You know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> so why don't you guys let's let's uh, get you talking. 
tell me about your backgrounds, how you got started, how did you meet, um, how, and how did you get into music? I'm, I'm very interested in the UK <coughs> because there are so many talented musical artists that come out of there. It's phenomenal. Mm. So tell, yeah. me about, tell me about it. What are your influences? Let's just talk about the whole thing. You far away, Will. Where do you want me to go? Well, I mean, we started, uh, we started the band in... The band's roots go all the way back to school. Me and Ben went to school together. Uh, me, Ben, and Dan, the guy who passed away, all went to the same school in South Wales. Uh, and we all played music, but we all played music in different bands. Uh, I was actually in a band with Dan's older brother. Um, and, and then just the years went by, we finished school, went our separate ways, and then about four or five years ago, oh. found ourselves in London watching Dan perform solo acoustic gig. Mm. And um, yeah, we just got chatting, hadn't seen each other for a while, all, all living in London, and we were like, let's, let's start a band that's back, back down at basically with a band. Oh. Um, and then it just grew from there, really. It took a while to find our drummer. We got we went through quite a few drummers. Um, and then uh, finally settled on Sam Belcher, who's out on the booze again tonight, so he can't join us, sadly. He's, he's a bit of a, he's a booze head. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong with that, uh, nothing wrong with that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, 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 the story in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, influence wise, I take a lot of influence from very early Kings of Leon songs, yep. uh, early White Stripes I'm a big fan of, um, oh, I don't know, stuff like Strokes, mm. uh, early the Strokes, all the stuff I listened to when I was growing up in school, it sort of seems to be the music that stuck with me the most. Oh, how, yeah. old yeah, how old are you guys? How old are you guys? So, I'm 20, oh, how old am I? Oh, yeah, I forget, 27. I'm 29. Oh, he's nearly 30. Nearly 30 this year. Oh. Can you guess how it's old coming. I am? Oh, oh I'm not a bear, no, I'm 25, mate. I'm 25, man. <laughs> no. That's flattering, no, though. 49. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nah, I'm just being nice. You're about 60. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Uh, I, I was going to ask uh, before I pulled, pulled the specs up. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> are you guys, are you are you touring London or have you gone overseas? Uh, not as yet. I mean, that's the aim really. I mean, we, for now, we've just basically got this new uh, guitarist in our band uh, called Joe. So, we, obviously, Dan passed away and, you know, it was, we've worked for it for two years as a three piece and we kind of felt comfortable enough now and within ourselves and our music to be able to add another layer to it again so we've got Joe and we've just been focusing on making our music the way you know the best it can be and we had a gig last night basically and that was our EP launch and we sold out the venue it was like 150 people there so it was great and we had a great night and yeah and uh, so the next step now I think is to you know find to do as many gigs as we can around the UK and then hopefully eventually push overseas and spread our wings a little bit. Yeah. I, I can just tell you, you know, uh, I obviously you know who Mumford and Sons are, right? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's, um, <clears throat> they've, when they first started, they had that really um, organic, you know, feel to their music. Well, they've gotten like, you know, popular now and so uh, i think they're they're starting to lose that edge that they started with right yeah uh, you your music reminded me of them when they began but no, thank you yeah but i think you've got stronger vocals that's just my personal opinion uh well oh definitely and marcus mumford's a pretty good singer but you know i'll tell you that no you know, I'm no, really that. no <laughs> i i would put you you guys you perform that go on and go and then um I was watching your video, Lost, and I'm just going to play mm. a little bit of that. I mean, the the vocals are, they're just raw and they're they're flawless. I mean... Thank you. Yeah. I'm just... Let me start from the beginning. Now, where where is this? Uh, where were you playing this? Were you, it looks like you're recording. No, we weren't. This is just our drummer. Our drummer is a drum teacher, and this is his studio, so... Oh, okay. This is, this is where we practice, and uh, hence why there's two drum kits. Yeah, so we just put a GoPro up in the corner. GoPro up in the corner. This is a video that we used to apply for Glastonbury. We were kind of a bit late to it. We were like, you know what, we need a video. Let's just see how it sounds. And mm. we just put this GoPro up in the corner, microphone in the room, and just recorded it. 
did it in one take. Yeah. Boom, Bob's your uncle. Very nice. Yeah. So this is uh, Hey Penny's Lost on YouTube mm. on 15 Master on SoundCloud. So <clears throat> this yeah, is, yeah, yeah. This is 15. Yeah. This, this is the one that I was supposed to play first. Yeah, we but just I, put it out the other day. But I had the WAV file, so remember that. I gotta have the yeah. MP3. So this is 15. Turn it down a little bit. Beginning. And you guys look like you have fun when you play these songs, by the way. Of course, oh, mate. Man. Blast, yeah. There's a... Uh, Always happen. One of your... One of your uh, YouTube videos, there's an old man dancing in a yeah, pub. Man, Robin, yeah, Robin the dancer, I remember him, man, that was great. He came to a few of our shows, he just, uh, he had a real good time, <laughs> he was great, man. <laughs> yeah, like he enjoyed we, were, yeah. we wanted to do a video of him just dancing to one of the songs with a green screen behind him, just changing, you like, should do where that. he, like, you should do yeah, that. I think we should. Sick, it? I think we should. But you, what do you guys do for your day jobs? Uh, so I'm an audiovisual technician, I do, like, uh, work in a conference center. So I pay the bills. Yeah, hey. <laughs> I'm a bike messenger. Hey, well, you know what? You're 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 able to do what you love, you know. Yeah, yeah man. And and you're to be actually honest, though, yeah. We have we have jobs which we tend to finish early, like half three. So yeah, it so gives us the time to go home and do what we need to do and practice. And yeah, yeah it's the reason I took this job because of my because of the bad. So yeah. yeah. Oh well. Hey, Mary. Sorry, my housemate just arrived. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Hello! We're just having an interview with a radio station. Yeah. For a radio, For a radio. station in, really? in Chicago. Yeah. He's on Skype now. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Cool, guys. Hey, thank you, Mary. See you. Sorry. No, no problem. You are editing this video, you said, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, but here's the, here's the fun part. I don't... You can check her in. I'm, she not, won't I'm not scripted, and I, I like it natural like this. I don't, you know, I'm rela I have a day job and I like to relax when I do this. You know, this is yeah. fun. Oh, this, nice. this is fun for me. Oh yeah, this is, I started doing this, uh, I want to say three years ago. Obviously, if you play good music, right, people tend to listen and send you more music. Well, it's gotten to the point mm -hmm. now, I can't keep up with uploading music. <laughs> I mean, it's, you yeah. know, I have some people help me at times, but again, I'm full-time dad. I got a full-time gig, I travel. Oh. Yeah, I oh. was, uh, I was in Amsterdam twice last year on business getting, yeah. getting stoned yeah. <laughs> funny story uh, I've never been to Amsterdam I go into this store and again I've never been there before right and my buddy's like hey let me get your picture I said oh no problem so I'm standing against this wall of dildos and didn't realize, <laughs> I didn't realize it I looked at the picture and then I looked again I was like you son of a an entire wall <laughs> 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 but, uh, but yeah, we, we had a good time. We literally walked to Amsterdam for about eight hours. Uh, it, was, it was a great time. Um, great people. Never seen as many bikes in my life. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, but it, yeah, it's insane. I can, I'm trying to meet people, the bands that send me music, because I had a couple from like the Netherlands, and we just didn't yeah. look up. Uh, but anyway, more about you guys. Mm. Um, tell me about your lyrics. Ooh, where what do you, you want to where know? Your, where, do your, where do your where do your uh, <clears throat> well here? Let's go uh, here. Let's go to your band uh, band page here, Bandcamp. So I was looking at the Sour Milk. I like this song. Ooh, so this is a song that was written by Dan. Really? Who passed away? Yeah. So this is the old stuff. So when Dan was in the band, this is the stuff that yeah he he was incredibly incredibly yeah, really talented. Good. Really good. So yeah, I mean lyrics wise, we couldn't tell you. We couldn't tell you what the meaning are behind them. His, his song but so is this Dan like there's a picture I think this is you sideways and then he's he's got Dan's got the darker hair yeah and the gray I think a gray jumper on or white jumper or something and he's got his mouth open like yeah him. yeah the white no he's wearing a white t-shirt yeah 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 okay so yeah, that's yeah. Dan so he's singing the song yeah that's oh, the song wow. he wrote this song yeah okay yeah. so did he sing awesome. all three of these songs Bones what are they what What's the other ones? Bones. That's Bones. Will. Bones, I sang. You did? That's Will's. Okay. Yeah. All right, Will, so. <coughs> Can't remember this. The recording of this is not. Uh... 
for here. Let's yeah, it was like that in these memoriam are, thing we did. Yeah, these are these are all the, like three rough recordings that we were. So these were going to be our second EP, but then Dan died, so we ended up releasing like the rough recordings just to, so people could hear them because we were never going to be able to, to to finish the the real recordings on them. Yeah. So uh, the, the quality is not amazing, but yeah, I mean that that song Bones is pretty much written about. Um, Basically about drug addiction and um, <laughs> like what was what we were going through at the time, um, and not and and stop being stupid and just yeah. get back to to what we're trying to do, you know. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty. Um, that's was a bit emotional as well, actually. You know? <laughs> well, we'll 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 move we'll move away from that. Um, <laughs> that's my mistake. Well, you know, I don't listen. I there's a band called the Tangents, I think, uh, that I interviewed, and and they kind of went through the same thing and. I don't like to press those buttons. You know? No, no, talk about it. No, you we know. don't mind talking. Like, yeah, don't mind. We're open about it. Yeah. I think if you don't talk about it, then you're never gonna. You know. True. True. It's true. You're yeah. never gonna know, and people need to open up. People need to talk. Yeah, we do need to open up and talk about it. Um, I'm trying to think what. Uh... Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that song is basically about drug addiction and move it and trying to move past it and focus on the band, basically. Yeah. Well, uh, you guys have done that, obviously. Mm, thank you. No, you, you really have. Who's promoting your music? Uh, I mean, you know, this this mastermind promotions, um, mm -hmm. I mean, I realize they're sending your music out, but what exactly do they do for you? So at the moment, we're just running a campaign with them, so we're doing the, basically pushing our music in front of industry people and... Uh, we did our EP launch last night. We had Alex Baker down from uh, Kerrang! and Roots for Absolute and Magic of Air, like big uh, UK based radio stations. Mm -hmm. He's a very big advocate of new music. And yeah, he loved it. He loved yeah. it, absolutely loved it. And he ins they, they basically ensure that we get here yeah. by people of uh, merit, I suppose. Yeah, people merit. it's credibility to get your foot through the door and you know make yourself known in front of people that wouldn't necessarily hear your music because sadly we don't have the. We've got full-time jobs. We focus sure, on the band outside sure. of that, making music, practicing. Like, sadly, music is a business. Yeah, I know. And you need to the time, the graph, and the effort, and the time. And sadly, time that we don't really have between us. So, mm -hmm. we're using this company to help us get our foot through the door, and you know, get us radio plays, and yeah, give us a bit of credibility. So, hopefully, then we can get onto bigger slots, bigger festivals, support some bands, just spread, you know, spread the music, spread the live. So, yeah. What about, um, have you ever thought about movies? Synchronization? Yeah, again. well, yeah, we've got, we're doing it, they're doing, they're doing some sync stuff. Right? Are they? Oh, I don't know. There Maybe. is, yeah, they might be, they might be doing that. Uh, she mentioned something about going go, actually, for a sync. Uh, yeah. Do you, should that go really good on, on, on sync? But yeah, definitely thought about it. I mean, sorry. And would love to uh, would love to do it if anything, if the option never arose. But I mean, again, it's I don't really know how to get your foot in the door with sync either. No. Well, so, yeah, we've been in one indie movie before actually, just just through a friend of uh, a fan of the band actually. He's, mm. he's a film producer. Oh, nice. And he's he's used <sighs> our music, two of our songs in his uh, in his short film called Trolley. Mm. Trolley. Which so so it's. It's pretty. Um, it was very independent, uh, but it's, it seemed to have got a little bit of uh, a little bit of traction. Yeah, it's been in film festivals around yeah. kind of all around oh. Europe, and it's doing pretty well. And yeah, it's, it's doing it's all right. Well. So. And I think he's working on something else that's going to be quite notable, and we might actually be in it. He's asked us if we want to do like a little weird cameo thing in um, in uh, being in a what's it called a congregation in a church. Uh -huh. so just be, we wouldn't have any lines or anything, but it might be quite fun if we could make I, it. Uh, that could be a niche. It could be a niche for you. Fire away. You do what you have to do, mate. If you sure. make me a few thousand pounds, <laughs> we'd be very happy. I'll come and I'll come and massage your feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'll, I'll remember that. I'll definitely remember that. Or massage your talks. heads. It's very, it's very <laughs> massage, massageable. It really does. You like that? <laughs> yeah, love it, mate. It's got a good shine. <laughs> Did you grease her up? <laughs> the lighting. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 it looks great. Okay, so now I'm going to start powdering my head before, or wear a hat. <laughs> um, you could just wear a hat. Powdering yeah, I will. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, Fickle. I'm going to play Fickle. 
Oh, that's uh, another one. It's from, it's from your website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, so, again, it's the old stuff. So let me let me ask a question though. Where is you've got this album cover with this elephant? Yeah. Where, where that? What is so that? So the, 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 there's three songwriters. There was three songwriters in the band. Me, Dad, and Will. From that old EP, which is we couldn't think of a name for the EP, and we were like, "Oh, it's such an elephant in the room," and okay. that ends well. The elephant in the room was we couldn't think of a name for it, so ended up. What? Well, I don't know. Is it called Elephant in the Room? No, it's self-titled. The Hate Pennies. It's just called the Hate Pennies. Yeah, the picture we found because it was like the elephant in the room. It's an elephant. Okay. Um, but yeah, so three of the songs from there are written by mine, me and Will, uh, together, Glory Man and Today's, and then the other two, Ghosts and Fickle, were written by Dan. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then we've got obviously a new EP coming out, which is all the songs written by me and Will. Um yeah, the the EP kind of like pays a bit of a homage to Dan, and you mm -hmm. know it was what we were going through at the time. Uh, highs part of it, low part of it, you know, emotionally, yeah, mentally, physically, what we were experiencing in our life, and it's some yeah. kind of mixture of everything. <clears throat> ask you this: I ask everybody this. What what are what are your favorite? What are the what's the most favorite book you've ever read? I know it's late. Ooh. <laughs> What I'm reading at the moment. <laughs> this one, what's it called? Shangri La. Okay. Are oh, you reading that? Are you? Mm, it's great. Are you reading it at the moment? Yeah, yeah I'm reading it at the moment, right here. It's about, uh, where is it? Right here. This book. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not Shangri La. Shantaram. Shantaram. My bad. Shantaram. What's, what's it about, Gregory David? This Roberts. is an amazing book. So, this is about a, a guy who. It was an Australian guy. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even opened it. <laughs> no, I have. I just forgot what the initial part it was. Yeah, he's a, he, he was a robber and he basically moved to India and he ended up like living in the slums. It's a, it's a true story. He wrote no, it's part, partly true. It's only part, yeah, partly true. But um, yeah, he was living in the slums and like he joined gangs and blah, blah, blah. And it's just, he just had the most insane, crazy life ever. It's a very famous book. I'm surprised you don't know it. Shantaram. You definitely need to read it. It's amazing. It's very, very good. And uh, yeah, I'm halfway through, so we'll see. We'll see. How. Apparently, the first half is better than the second half. So, oh really? I don't know if it's even worth carrying on, but no, <laughs> I will. I will carry on. But yeah, it's a great book. So, what great about book. you? What about you? Uh, the audio books count because <laughs> I'm, I'm a I'm a big Audible guy, even though fucking Jeff Bezos is an asshole. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. I, what, what is my favorite book? That's hard. Um. He does though. He doesn't read any. I do read. I it's okay. Story. You'd be surprised at the number of people that don't really read. To be honest, I don't read that many books. I don't read regularly. Don't get me wrong. I, I play do, music. I definitely yeah. got a book that, that I loved. You play and write music. I don't love them that much. Play and write music. That's my jam. Yeah. No, I'll have to pass on that. I can't think of one. All right. Well, how about this? Your favorite Survival. movie. <laughs> yeah. Your favorite movie. Favorite movie. Last of the Mohicans, and they're watching it downstairs <laughs> right now. Last of the Mohicans. It's a damn yeah. good movie. It's Very good amazing. Movie. Very good movie. I like Leon. Leon is one Leon of my favorite movies. Leon is a great movies. film. Leon. Um, yeah. You've seen it? Oh. It's, uh, it's with the Rene Ru was Natalie Rene Porter Rene when she was a kid. And Rene Russo. Oh, 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 oh that's and not Don Leon. It's and, Gary, and Gary Oldman. You're, that's not I think Leon. It's got a it's, it's, oh, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, What's it called? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I know you're talking. He was a... The, he was a uh, um, Hitman. Hitman, the yeah. cleaner. Is it called the cleaner? No, 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 no. no. I know which one you talked about. We we watched it like thirty times when I was younger. It was a great movie. Yeah, it's a great. Can great you? Movie. Name? Yeah, that was her name in the mm. movie. It's a great song. Excellent. So, you what? You what? What's next for you guys? It, it feels like this is the furthest we've been in the band so far. Yeah, I mean, we're, get, we're getting plays on radio, we're, you know, doing interviews, we're, you know, we're getting seen by the right people. Yeah. Um, finally. And it took us a long time to get here, because before Dan died, we were pretty adamant that we were never going to pay for PR, because we didn't really understand yeah. how, the, yeah. how the industry works, and we were like, we're not going to be sellouts and, and playing that game, we're not going to play that game. But then now we were just like, you know what, let's just play the game and see what it's like. And then as soon as we started playing the game, things seem to start rolling and yeah. a lot quicker and a lot better, which is 
Sadly, it doesn't work how it used to be. You know, there's, you, you can't just get seen by a record label. Well, no, there's no there. fat man in the back. Give you 50 grand to make yeah. this. Yeah, there's no like, fat man sadly, in the back. you know, it's, it's all about a lot of it about social media and gaining that platform. Yeah, I know. And it's tough. Work your ass off, and then you know, just paying. We're just paying professional people to. You know, if you're if you want to do your tax return, you'll give it. You'll you'll pay an accountant to do it. You know, yeah, we're yeah. a band. We need to know the business side of it, so we have to pay and. You know, get a bit of credibility and put off for some, hopefully some some doors, knocking and yeah. some doors. So, yeah, the yeah, yeah the the tough part that I've learned, you know, with a lot of the folks I've talked to is, you know, no one has, you don't have the bandwidth, right? Because you got to eat, then you got to have time to play your music. Yeah. You got to try to trust somebody to represent who you are, you know, and get you yeah. places. In uh, that's that's what I'm finding is the issue. Um, there just aren't a lot of credible people out there anymore. Yeah, I mean, Mastermind has been pretty good, though, I think. Like, we were, obviously, you, you, you when you pay money for something, you're always a bit, you know, yep. Yep. you're worried, 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 the they're very team of yours, you know, the small team, yeah, they're enthusiastic, they really care about the music and these yeah. people. And They've been very personable as well. Supportive, you know? Good, yeah. Good. Good. So yeah. Is, it, is it breaking your budget or are you able to... Look, yeah, I mean, we, used to, we got like, we had a band account, we used that money that we had in the band account, we put it to that and we put added some to it and now again, last night we made money, we're doing gigs all the time really, which paid now, so it's good. And we're going to start busking again and get some more capital because sadly you can't really do much without it yeah right capital is key so yeah. capital for, is capital as you know coming from a successful band um what advice would you give you know someone starting out that sounds really good and uh you know wants to do the right thing what advice would you give a novice band right now Mm. Don't stop till you get enough. It's Michael Jackson, brother. Don't stop till you get enough. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I think, yeah, just keep going. Work hard. Write, 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 write. Keep making songs. As long as you enjoy it, don't yeah. Don't let anything else hold you back. Like, so I would say don't expect too much. I would always, I mean, it sounds a bit downhearted, but I would say don't expect too much from it uh, in terms of, like, money. Mm. So... But so if you really love it, keep doing it. And if, if you don't, but don't do it just because you think you're going to get rich off the back of it. Because yeah, it's not the right. Chances choice. are you won't get rich off the back of it. But you know, yeah. as long as you do it and you have fun and you, and you love what you do, then you're doing the right thing. Yeah. Uh, and then if you do have a little bit of money to spend, get <laughs> get some help from a PR company because they seem to be. Yeah. I don't. It's, I, I don't know how people do it on their own. I mean, I think Ed Sheeran apparently did it on his own. Well, he just gigged like every, every single day, day, and then eventually he got so tired, and he just got you got seen, he got yeah. lucky, yeah. he got seen, and he got picked up, and then yeah. Yeah, just kind of well, kicked it's, off. It's, it's statistics. I mean, the more you're out there, right, you have a greater chance. Of course, yeah. You know? But if exactly, you're, I completely agree. You are gigging once a month. I need to be gigging. Yeah, at least. yeah. I mean, you're forgotten within a week. You know. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. Well. Yeah. 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 I could talk to you guys until the sun comes up, but you guys, oh, yeah. I know you're tired. I usually do these at about 30 minute increments, uh, but I, I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, staying up on the horn with me. But again, you're the Oh, hey, mate, hey don't pennies. worry. I'm just drinking beer, bro. I'm doing the same as you. Oh, you know, we didn't talk about the name. How did you derive oh, at hey the name? Pennies. Yeah. Uh, well, Will can tell you. It's Will's, Will's. Doing. Uh, so yeah, I think I mentioned that um, I was in a band with Dan's older brother when I was mm-hmm. in school, um, and we were a two-piece band. As I said, I was very heavily influenced by the White Stripes. We actually, me and him, actually did a few um, cover gigs as, as a like a, a White Stripes tribute band, and we called ourselves the Shite Stripes. <laughs> the Shite Stripes. And, um, so yeah, uh, every, every, but every time we did a gig. People um, were like, "Where's the rest of your band?" And we were <laughs> like, rude. "Well, there is no, there is no more band. I mean, it's not half a band. So rude. We're the full thing." So then the half a penny sort of thing came into my head, and I was like, "Well, I hate pennies. I quite like it. I, just, I like the fact it's weird and it's not one word. It's, and I like the fact that people do get like, how do you say it? I like, I like the fact talking point in it. Ask how you say it and stuff. Yeah, hate pennies. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the name, mm. and it's just stuck since." 
and continued on. We thought about changing it a few times, but we never, never did it yet. It's yeah. do we? It was just too hard. Yeah. Um, well, I like the name. I think it's good. It's quite British as well. It's, I mean, yeah, even though, to be honest, I don't really want to be British at the moment with all the shit that's going on in our country. <laughs> oh, yeah. You but, guys yeah. in Brexit. Uh, uh, God. God. It's, it's not, well, weird. you're all your, every, all of your uh, goods and services that are imported from the 27 countries in the union are going to yeah. go up for uh, you guys. You know yeah, that. I know. Oh, oh man, don't <laughs> We could talk about that. Good luck with that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your name again, uh, where we can find your music, and what's coming up next for you. So, we're the Havenies, and you can get our new EP on uh, Spotify and all major streaming services from, from March the 1st. March the 1st. St. David's Day, Day, which is, uh, which is a Welsh season, so it's a uh, mm-hmm. so patron saint. saint of Wales. Um, Everyone dresses up weird and carries around leeks, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, And then if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's at Harpennies. Harpennies, H-A-P-E-N-N-I-E-S. And same for Facebook, forward slash Harpennies. Mm-hmm. Twitter is uh, The Harpennies. The Harpennies. Some other one's so, got it. And some sod. www.harpennies.com <laughs> is the website. Yeah. And yeah, we've got a So Far Sounds gig coming up on the 10th of March in London, secret location, but you can still buy tickets. And then, yeah, and then the plan is to do more gigs, get more gigs, eventually spread our wings, go around the country, go around, around the world. Europe. And then around the world, and then you never know. Well, yeah, if you maybe. make it to Chicago, maybe to Chicago. Let me yeah. know, you guys. Yeah, I, I see. For some reason, I see you guys playing at the House of Blues. Um, Ooh, there's a play. there's a band called a Million cool. Reasons that I played last year, and I just saw them on Instagram, and they're playing at the House of Blues. So, oh, uh, wow. it's possible. Nice. Yeah, yeah, they're a progressive uh, alternative rock band, and, and they're playing at the House of Blues. So, cool. Cool. Um, you know, I'm Don't sure think- I'll see you in Chicago at one point. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're in London, let us know. We'll, we'll go for a beer. Okay, Definitely. Thank you. I got a list of people. <laughs> a list of people that I'm supposed to contact when I get over there. <laughs> but I definitely will hook up with you guys. Um, yes. Well, listen. You want the party. I'm Todd, aka the Runner. You guys redirect your friends to therunner.com to listen to some good internet radio and the, the Hey yeah. Pennies. Uh, listen, guys. Thanks. It's been wonderful. I appreciate you taking the interview and. Any other music you want to send my way, send it to me and I'll upload it immediately. Okay? Awesome. All right. Thank hey, you enjoy sure. the rest of your weekend, okay? Oh, cheers, Thank you. Bro. Take care. Yourself. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.